Hi, I'm Teresa McDowell. I'm Maria Bermudez. And I'm Carmen Knutson Martin. We're co authors of Third Order Thinking and Family Therapy Addressing Social Justice Across Family Therapy Practice. This article has been recently released by Family Process. So, we wanted to mention that Family Process translated our article of Third Order Thinking into Spanish. So, I would like to be able to say a few words in Spanish to those that would be using the article in Spanish. Yo me llamo María Bermúdez y yo soy una de las autores de este artículo que se llama Pensamiento de Tercer Orden en Terapia Familiar, Integrar la Justicia Social al Trabajo Terapéutico. Y los otros autores de este artículo se llaman Teresa McDowell, Carmen Knudsen Martin y yo. Y les quería decir que este artículo habla un poco más de cómo integrar el cambio de tercer orden y también de cómo pensar en, al nivel de tercer orden. Espero que lo disfruten y si ustedes tienen preguntas o quieren hacer comentarios sobre el artículo, por favor escríbenos para hacernos preguntas. Y también pueden encontrar el artículo en, el, en la revista Family Process. Gracias. The article comes from our work as clinicians, researchers, supervisors, and educators working over the years to develop socioculturally attuned family therapy practice. We have been engaged in reconceptualizing enduring models of family therapy from a socioculturally attuned perspective in order to, to develop practical approaches to clinical work that are equitable and socially responsible. What we offer in this article represents what we believe is an emerging paradigm shift that can be traced back to the beginning of the field of family therapy. Family therapists have always known how important societal influences and context are to understanding and working with families. Today, more and more family therapists are working to connect the dots between broad societal patterns and family systems. Most of us grapple, however, with how to use this knowledge when actually sitting with a family. The main points we make in this article are about third order thinking and third order change as an overarching framework to guide our clinical work. As you will see when you read our article, third order thinking captures Bateson's early ideas about third order learning in ways that recognize how families are embedded in systems of systems. Today, our social awareness has been expanded exponentially since our clinical models were first developed. This article offers suggestions for integrating this new social awareness throughout our practices. Our thinking shapes everything we do. Third order thinking calls on us to pause and rethink every aspect of family therapy including what constitutes good therapy, what constitutes best practices, and who decides what are best practices, how services are delivered, how we shape our code of ethics, the practice of our professional organizations, and how we engage in supervision and the training of future therapists. Third Order Change focuses on how we work collaboratively with clients while being aware of and responsible toward many sources of discrimination and social inequities that are di directly related to the problems our clients bring to our attention. Third order thinking helps students as well as experienced family therapists to learn how to become agents of first, second, and third order change. This article includes several points about becoming an agent of third order change. These include one, taking a meta view of ourselves and the families with whom we work as acting within systems of systems. Two, integrating our understanding of societal systems and power into our treatment models. And three, inviting clients to view their own lives from meta perspectives that assist them in solving problems and expanding possibilities for organizing relationships. We hope you'll enjoy our article in Family Process on Third Order Thinking in Family Therapy.